If you think your metabolism is out of whack, it could be your diet. And I'm not talking about what you're eating too much of, I'm talking about what you're not eating enough of. This is a big deal once you focus with us here. Back with me are Dr. Cedarquist and Empire Star Teronda Jones. Welcome to both of you. So Teronda, let's get real here about diet. So when you try to lose a little weight, okay. what do you do and what works, what doesn't work? I, uh, I do a detox water with cucumbers, lemons, and grapefruits. Mm. And uh, I eat a lot of salad. I try to cut out everything. My cookies, cakes, pies, chips, everything. All the fun stuff. Yes, and I just, I just do uh, it's like spinach, mainly spinach. <laughs> spinach, I do a lot of spinach. And, the only uh, spinach? Spinach, onions, tomatoes, cucumbers, okay. the salad. Right. So <laughs> let me go back. You said something really important. You said we start cutting out all these things. Mm -hmm. That's what most of us do when we go on a diet, right? We cut things out. Yeah. Right? That makes it really hard to do the right thing for your metabolism. So do you ever step up with this program? All the time. All the time, with great pride, she says. Dr. Cedar Quinn <laughs> all the time. is going to change your minds about a lot of these things. Please educate all of us about something you do in your practice. You've done it for you know, a lot of folks with who you've gotten success with. It's something that we never had thought about being a focus. Go ahead. Yes, one of the most important things about when you're trying to lose weight is you don't want to lose your muscle. And in order to keep your muscle, you must have protein. But it's very important that we have regular protein spread throughout the day and that we have enough. So when you cut down on protein, you actually lose muscle and your metabolism gets slower. Toronto, what that means, real quickly, is the first thing we think about when we lose weight or try to go on a diet is not what to cut out. Yeah. It's adding protein. Okay. And very specifically, it's 30 grams of protein for each of the meals plus a snack. Mm -hmm. It's a big, big difference in what we've talked about generally in America when it comes to losing weight. Right. This is, I think, and for physicians who are on the cutting edge of this, everyone has their own philosophies. So it's not one size fits all, but it's a big difference. So link me up a little bit on this. If, if we're gonna give people protein, yes. uh, does it matter if they get it evenly throughout the day? Does it have to be uh, perfect every single day? What happens is the body only has the ability to use a small amount at any one time. We need protein at breakfast, at lunch, and at dinner. And you're absolutely right, the 25 to 30 grams is where I usually want my patients to be for meals and then usually two snacks. So breaking news everybody, big study that was done, I shouldn't say big, there was a study done on people, which is always big. <laughs> and they looked at what they did when they went on a diet. They put half the folks on a high protein program mm -hmm. and the other folks were on a low protein program and they both could eat as much food as they want. And they both gained weight because they could eat as much as they want, right. right? But the people who are having a lot of protein in their diet, half of the weight gain was muscle which is great because it revs up that metabolism, okay. right? The people who didn't have much protein, almost all their weight gain was fat, which is what we experience. And that explains the mistake that so many of us make because we grab for the, you know, the, the, what we think are the, 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 the best foods for it, but they're not actually the, re the right ones for us. That's why this metabolism game is so important. Well, what would you say is good protein? Because I know it's bad protein, right? Yeah. What would you yeah. say is good protein? Because I, I like steak. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. No, it's a great question. What I find is the key is lean protein. So we don't want a lot of the saturated fat that's in red meat. There's you know, a lot of concern about that. Okay, so we have some pictures up here of what I think are some pretty good meals that Dr. Cedar Chris recommended. So take us through these three meals plus snack. Yes, sounds good. So we have for breakfast a breakfast frittata that's actually made with I egg like and vegetables, <laughs> a little bit of cheese, and it can be very, very healthy okay. for sure. Okay. So you want to get that. And then this was actually a picture of a turkey burger, so a lean protein. I probably would like the salad with it instead of the bun, you know, if we're actually trying to lose weight. But if you don't need to lose weight, that would be a good lunch. Never had a burger without the bun. I need the bun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's great without the bun. And then a good snack would be something like apples with peanut butter. And then dinner, which would be like chicken. And here we have some Brussels sprouts with it, you know, some good healthy vegetables or the spinach you like. I love spinach. So you took your shoes off to be in this segment. <sighs> what are you doing with my shoes? I'm gonna see if they fit me. No, <laughs> what size do you wear? Well, I, I wear a 10 and a half. What do you think, close? I feel a little too big, <laughs> a little too big. Why do women wear shoes like this? I asked the question because you can't possibly walk around <laughs> and burn off any calories with shoes like this on you. I'm sure you can, you, but I took them off because I don't like heels, but I tried to get cute for you. I want it to look nice for you, so. <laughs> the goat my outfit, which I love very much. Listen. Absolutely. Thank you very, very much. When we come back, we've got a fantastic game we're going to play with the audience. It's a game of Never Have I Ever. You know how to play that game? Yeah. yeah when we come back, you want to see about shoes and everything else. When we come back.